Hey guys, and welcome back to another trial and error video. Today I'll be following another TikTok tutorial for embroidery paintings. So you're going to need a canvas, any size works, and use tape to draw a diagonal line. Once you have that down, paint one side of it with the color of your choosing and peel off the tape. Put your printed or drawn out design where you want it to be, keeping in mind the wooden frame of the canvas. To make sure it doesn't move, use some masking tape to tape it down. Once you have that, start using a push pin to poke holes along the design's outline, um, really anywhere where you want thread to be. The distance between the holes varies, however, depending on the complexity of the design in each area, so you can make up your own mind about that and see where it fits best. Continue that for the entire design and peel off the paper when you're done. You should see a barely comprehensible mass of like little holes. I'm so sorry if you have trypophobia. But next up, get your sewing supplies and it is time to embroider. After about two hours and a couple bug bites later, this is what I had so far. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of time, but I thought it looked pretty cool. I actually had to continue this the next day, so stay tuned for that and I'll go into a bit more detail then. Day two, but this time I'm inside. So throughout the day, I've just been working on this bit by bit and here is half of the finished product. I still have another fish to embroider on the other side though. So just repeating the process, I placed and taped down the same sheet of paper I used for the fish last night and measured the distance from the edges to make sure it was similarly placed with the already finished fish to hopefully create a more consistent painting so it wouldn't look lopsided at all. Up next, it's poking time again, which actually takes so long and because the push pin is um, really small, it was a bit tedious to work with. Once that's done, you take off the paper and we're back to a trypophobia nightmare. This time I'll start embroidering with the white thread on the yellow painted side. Just thread it through the needle and tie it off at the end and you're good to start. So a really important thing to note actually is that when you're doing this you have to backstitch otherwise the embroidery finish will look kind of um, wonky. So to do this thread it from the back to the front and then go to the next hole and loop back. After that, you're going to want to thread back to the front using the next hole over, come back to the front, and loop back. So this is sort of like a two steps forward, one step back kind of situation. Now, I've actually never embroidered before, so this whole process was new to me, but there are a lot of good infographics and YouTube tutorials out there. As you can see, if you're working with a long piece of thread, make sure to keep it untangled, um, otherwise you'll end up like me and having to cut and tie it halfway, which really slows down the process and the overall efficiency. Moving on to the orange thread. First, make sure you have enough thread to begin with. I actually ran out, so I had to change colors, which is quite unfortunate. Now everything else is the exact same process, but just keep in mind the border between the yellow paint and the white canvas. Um, starting the different colored thread right at the border uh, will help create a crisper contrast, and in my, in my opinion that just looks cleaner and a lot cooler. Once you're done, just tie it off in the back, cut off the extra thread, and that's that. Now here's the final product, which I really, really liked. Um, I thought it looked pretty cool and kind of, I don't know, sophisticated. 
Now, if you like this tutorial, give it a try yourself and remember to subscribe to our channel and check out our blog.